I'll just move it over closer to you. Yeah, basics of uh, SRO, the vowels are basically uh, all you need to know about, about these things. The other ones are there. So we have the short A, it's pronounced like a U in but. <laughs> good, good in the other but. Okay. Sorry, corner. The A is like the A in pit. The O is like the O O in book. O. A, A, O. Yeah, uh, oh. Then we have this long, long, long vowel like that. Give me one. Father, give me one. Father. <laughs> uh, e as in C. O as in or. And the A as in day. Okay, those are your vowels. And if you pay attention to these things, you should be okay. I'll give you some, uh, some words that'll give you problems. When you when when you start when you don't read them properly, and it happens a lot when you're learning, and it's really good. But if you're trying to remember, you better take that. Take take a video of this. We're really looking at this. If you're trying to remember, uh, if you're trying to remember the vowels, okay, just remember. Just think of yourself going to the outhouse to do number two, right? So you go. You're sitting there. Ah ah ah. Ah ah. <laughs> and success! And I guarantee you will remember the vowels. <laughs> You're in the naughty corner too! <laughs> Do we have it? <laughs> Now we have a problem uh, in, the, in Cree country, especially in north of here, in South End, and east of here in the, in the Cumberland House, people are starting to drop off the H. Okay? The H is no longer, no longer uh, uh, available. Is that what an happened? evolution? Or it, is a, it is part of the, it's just language development. Oh. And uh, it's just the way things are, are happening. Now I'll show you. I called Christine this once in a while. <laughs> no, duck! <laughs> Means old lady, right? My colleague in, uh, in Regina, Bill Cook, doesn't know this word. To him, this word means suckle somebody. You all suckle on, like a baby, suckles on a, on a on the breast. That's what he understands it to be. Okay, because he had dropped. No duck. You all, you all suckle on the on the on the pit. That's what he understood this to mean. Okay, because of the H, they don't, they no longer use the H. So there's lots of trouble, <coughs> which is really neat. So the H is going to be really uh, problematic. And uh, something that's really funny is uh, this long I, E, okay? Mina. Okay, Mina. This is something that Christine had to, had to recognize. She did this on Facebook. <laughs> she wrote down Kista, Mina. She dropped, she didn't give me the, the long eye. So my question was, who am I supposed to give a drink to also? Mm -hmm. Mina. Give someone a drink. Okay, this is really neat. So you have that situation. Got to this. Mina and Mina. And then the, my favorite one, of course, is this one here. Mineason. Uh huh. 
Ist das der Gehegen? Ist das von Dadwin? Bitte? Uh, from, from Minna. Minna, if I said Minna, 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 Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith, Mr. We are at Big Lake. That's what I, at Big Stone Lake is what I want to say that. But the problem is I I didn't say Saga Hagen. This difference right here. Saga Hagen. This is the nail. This is the lake. Okay, it's that kind of stuff. So you have to watch what you're doing. And it's just really neat. Like ben, ben mentioned he could read anything that, he, that is written on SRO. He may not know what he's reading, but he can read it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just like last night we were looking at uh, Ramona's name on Facebook. It's, oh, an, yeah. it's an Ojibwe word that I, I, ra uh, I read the name, but I couldn't understand what it meant. But I read it right because she was using long vowels and mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. And stuff. Back to H vowels. H, H is missing. <laughs> a young man goes to a, a young man goes to the sweat. And he comes crawling out of the sweat, a really hot sweat. Says, ah, wow. <laughs> Dropped the H from what he's saying. <laughs> the H is missing. We end up laughing at him. <laughs> Just because the H, because he's missed out the H, he ended up saying that he that he made him made him miss P. So that H is always important, you know. And like Cumberland House and Southland are missing their H's, and they are going to create lots of problems with their understanding. Mm -hmm. that's, that's or for them understanding when we speak. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely. It's just really, really super. And so the basics of. Uh, of we, we, spelling is really strange, and uh, that's one of my favorite <laughs> stories there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ben. Um, People are shortening things. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. People are writing it like this. I am cooked like Solomon. No, please, no. What do you want to say? Solomon? It's long, long A here. Long, short Can A you here. break that into the morphemes? Into what? The morphemes. The other ones don't really have no meaning because it comes in there. The other ones really have no meaning. Just see. From Gali Yeah. From Gali Okay. So it's nice. And this is for talking about name. Okay. Okay. So Solomon to see Kazun. This. 
Okay. My belly button name is Solomon, but my first name is Tigoy, so I am called Marcus. He's a wind. Okay. Okay. Christine the Sigawin. Yeah. Christine the Sigasun. Okay, my the Okay, and stuff. Okay. Okay. Where else? Christine the Sigasun. No, don't the Sigawin. Ben the Sigasun. Ben the Sigasun. Sigar. Um. Yeah. 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 I was in the Sigo in. 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 Your friends call you what? Give me your full name. Jennifer. Okay, there we go. Now we have it. Jennifer and Jessica. Okay. Then, then then you have Jen and the Tigawin. Like that. That's that's where this comes from. Okay. Just pretty neat, eh? And we have that situation where we're born with with our belly button names, but then as we grow up, as we go along, we get different nicknames as we go along. Uh, you will go with a uh, with a Cree form. Mm. Oh. My Cree name. We the wind. Here we we the wind. There we go. Let's go to we the wind. T H. We the wind. Like that stuff. But that's stuff that you, you never say to anybody anyway. You don't use it. Uh, on a daily basis. Yeah. You, don't, you don't share that just with anybody. Mm -hmm. One of the stories I'll tell will tell you about, about that stuff. But it's just so neat. This, uh, this SRO is very simple to work with. Now we're having a problem on in this thing here. I love this world. <laughs> I heard something different. <laughs> <laughs> what I heard was <laughs> that one. Mr. Oh. Tagai. That's what she that's what she wanted that's what, that's what I wanted to say. But my students will end up saying this. Because they're not paying attention. Me, the guy. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's that stress, right? Yeah. Me, the guy. Me, the guy. Three, two, three. Me, the guy. Like that. So it's just really. So this is big penis. That's not what you want to say. No. <laughs> or do you? Nicknames. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. There is a problem going on, I've noticed on, online, that, that E. In syllabics, in TA's dialect, we have this for that, me. Okay? And when we're talking that in that TA's dialect, we end up saying in TA's dialect, me the guy. Like that. Okay? No problem. But what's happening uh, is uh, I've noticed that a lot of people who are working with SRO think that this is the same as this. This does not equal this. Mm. Okay, and that's what's it happening. Doesn't? Hmm? It, it doesn't. doesn't. Not at all. 
although it is represented the same way in syllabics, and that's where the confusion is coming in. You know? I can say I probably knew what that meant, because I thought it was. And it's not the same thing. But the E, short E, is the same as a long I. There's no short, short E. It's so always the I. It's always, always long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so how do I make it so that it connects with how it is that we write SRO up here? Do we? No. Okay, so SRO, you go ahead with this. Yes. Okay. But so when I'm, tra I'm changing what it is that they write, Salano, it's not. And they write a long E. Because we don't have long E. So we have this SRO woods and SRO plains, okay? Oh, okay. Ah. Uh, uh, e, oops, let me go to the long e, uh, answer. E and E. O, O. This has no equivalent like that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, E, E. O, O. So if you remember your chant, you never finished, right? <laughs> So what if the word has a long E? Ah, 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 e, 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 o, 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 a, e, o. You, you didn't go A. That's what I mean, that's what I mean. you didn't finish. <laughs> and what's your question? Good. That, that, that when, when they have, they're writing it out and I'm changing it. She yeah. wants the Morris presentation on why the pH. Right here, okay? This right. is the problem, right? Well, how do I right? change that? Because we don't have that in the Woods Creek. What is okay. E with a long, uh, a long E then? Here's number one. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's in the Y dialect. Right. The but point. in the in the TH dialect, it becomes Biak. Not a long I. No. Not oh, okay. not That's a. Oh, 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 hang in there. It's because of the Y. The Y will give it a long, a short I. So what about another one that has? Okay. Here we go. Let's go back to this one here that you. Right. Nice, the guy. And that just goes like that. So, so sometimes it does equal a long I. Most of the time. Okay, that's okay. what I mean. Most of the but time. Not all the time. Not all the time. Okay. Most of the time it will. Okay. okay. Nice, okay. Notice there's a Y here in the TH dialect. Mm -hmm. Not all Ys change to TH dialect. Okay. okay. Yeah. And uh, so the thing about PA and uh, the Y dialect. So some people say you change all the Ys to TH when you're going to there. That is not so. Like Biak is one, and Biak is one. You keep that. Keep the Y. Otherwise, you're near swearing. <laughs> you're very close to a swear word if you change that to a TH on there. You don't want that. Go in the naughty room again. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. <laughs> I think she knows what the word I'm thinking about. <laughs> I won't say it. <laughs> but that's just it. But so that's the thing. If you want to change from the Y to the to the TH dialect, remember that the E will most of the time most of the time will go. Okay. Most of the time. But if it's followed by a Y, keep it as a short Okay. Which is really good. Right. Okay, I think that's pretty good enough. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah, when we talk tomorrow about morphing, also another thing when when you get used to if the if the Y or a TH and the morphing, then when that same morphing shows up in different words, you know whether it's a Y or a TH, like Eggwa mm -hmm. becomes yeah. Eggwa, not mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. 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 Just really neat. So there's six and tips that? we're gonna talk about. Okay. Yeah. Eggwa, Eggwa, just really neat. So S R O W. Now, what's now? Last thing I want to say about this is about writing system is that a lot of people don't like to have Cree, uh, especially the fluent speakers. They don't want to see Cree <coughs> written. They all, uh, their argument is it was never a written argument, or a written language. So why should we write? Mm -hmm. My counter argument to that is neither was the English. Well, write them mm -hmm. of French, of Spanish. Originally, they were not written languages either. It's they just had a longer history in writing. The languages that's all it is and when people started writing english a long time ago it was in succession those of us who have tried reading chaucer we know how difficult <laughs> that is <laughs> you know yeah. Yeah, so it, it, the writing of english developed throughout history mm -hmm. but 
In English, we have this word. Okay? It's written the same way. In Boston, you say khakis. Khakis. Give me the, the khakis. I'll get the car started. Yeah. Okay. So the rest of us, when the Boston people here say car keys, the rest of us think of the pants. Yeah. <laughs> it's just as simple as that. It's just a different that way of talking. It's a different dialect. But in the English, it's spelled like this all the way down the line. It's spelled the same way, no matter where it is. Like tomato, and tomato. Yeah, and people know, it, 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 people know what car it is when they read it. They may pronounce it in a different way, mm -hmm. but they'll spell it the same way. Mm -hmm. And that's one of our arguments with silent women orthography, is spell it the same way. Because no matter where you are, you're going to end up saying it the way people are saying it around you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The only problems you'll have is the H's. <laughs> and the TH. And the TH, and that will uh, be really neat. I mean so the Y, that's the problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It is really super. Khakis. I don't know how to spell khakis in English. Your khakis are in my khakis. Where's my khakis? My khakis. Water. Here's another one, too. Water. All right? How does the baby say water? Wawa. 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 Yeah. So the babies all, all got different way, eggs, eh? Oh. <laughs> Unless the baby says, nippy. Yeah, really, really neat. So, but everybody doesn't say water the same way. That's basically it. So, so those people who are against writing Cree, uh, they have to keep in mind that this is, we're just starting out fresh, basically. We've been at it since 1970, mm. writing Cree. But we're still meeting with the resistance of people saying we shouldn't write Cree. So resistance also in the SRO woods and SRO plain, mm -hmm. because as a, a student of both, it's that's an extra layer of what it is that I have to mm -hmm. work through. And you taught me a lot there, even just with the I that I thought the elong mm -hmm. yeah. was always a long I. Well, so things, why are, is it they, that things are going to be really strange here in a little while because they're uh, they're developing, uh, they're rewriting the Woods Cree dictionary into how they used it spelled back in the old days. A CMRO? CMRO. <laughs> Which is absolutely Which nuts. <laughs> Who decided that? Huh? Who decided that? The chief. So then you lose all the patterns. Yeah, you lose all the patterns. You know, here in the Woods Cree, we're like CMRO. So it makes it difficult as a language teacher? Like, I mean, I don't teach that much, but I mean, that's what I do teach. It makes it so much more difficult to have to... So that they're doing that. They're do redoing the dictionary after putting it in the, into into planes into a SRO. I had put it put the dictionary with the SRO wood screen, mm -hmm. and now they're wanting to put it back to to this thing because they're resisting the writing system. Well, I knew we were resisting the the, the spelling the long e, but I didn't know. Oh well. It's gonna be like, it's gonna look like this. Like that. Okay. So we have this word. Sagahigan for nail. This is the SR, but Collins Motor and this is lake. And basically, if you look at the CMRO and looking for some inconsistencies, you'll find a lot of inconsistencies. inconsistencies. And that's the thing about the, uh, the Roman orthography, there's very few inconsistencies. Yeah, very few. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's some, but I haven't seen well, any. Well, we're fixing them. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen any. <laughs> is Mini a part of that? Yeah, Mini is part of this right now. So she's the one. Oops. And it's going to be, you know, like language writing is, some are fighting words for a lot of people. And uh, a lot of people don't want to write. It takes work when you're writing. Mm -hmm. It takes work. Thinking that everybody, somebody will come and do things for us mm -hmm. instead of us working for it. Mm 